The Life and Sad Ending of Porter Wagoner Porter Wagoner was born on August 12, 1927, was born in West Plains, Missouri, the son of Bertha May and Charles E. Wagoner, a farmer his first band, the Blue Ridge Boys, performed on radio station KWPMAM from a butcher shop in his native West Plains, where Wagoner cut meat. Wagoner was married twice, to Velma Johnson for less than a year in 1943 and Ruth Olive Williams from 1946 to 1986, though they separated 20 years before the divorce. He was survived by his three children, Richard, Denise, and Deborah. Known as was an American country music singer known for his flashy nudie and Manuel suits and blonde pompadour. In 1951, he was hired by C. Simon as a performer on KWTO in Springfield, Missouri. This led to a contract with RCA Victor. With lagging sales, Wagoner and his trio played schoolhouses for the gate proceeds, but in 1953 his song Trademark became a hit for Carl Smith, followed by a few hits of his own for RCA Victor. Starting in 1955, he was a featured performer on ABC TV's Ozark Jubilee in Springfield. He often appeared on the show as part of the Porter Wagoner trio with Don Warden and Speedy Hayward. Warden, on steel guitar, became Wagoner's longtime business manager. In 1957, Wagoner and Warden moved to Nashville, Tennessee, joining the Grand Ole Opry. In 1967, he introduced singer Dolly Parton on his television show, The Porter Wagoner Show. She became part of a well-known vocal duo with him from the late 1960s to the early 1970s. Known as Mr. Grand Ole Opry, Wagoner charted 81 singles from 1954 to 1983. Wagoner's 81 charted records include A Satisfied Mind No. 1, 1955. Misery Loves Company No. 1, 1962. I've enjoyed as much of this as I can stand number 7, 1962 to 1963. Sorrow on the Rocks number 5, 1964. Green, Green Grass of Home number 4, 1965. Skid Row Joe number 3, 1965-1966. The Cold Hard Facts of Life number 2, 1967. And the Carroll County Accident No. 2, 1968-1969. Among his hit duets with Dolly Parton were a remake of Tom Paxton's The Last Thing on My Mind 1967. Well Get Ahead Someday 1968. Just Someone I Used to Know 1969. Daddy Was an Old Time Preacher Man, 1970. Better Move It on Home 1971. The Right Combination 1972. Please Don't Stop Loving Me No. 1, 1974 and Making Plans No. 2, 1980. He also won three Grammy Awards for Gospel Recordings. Dazzling Aura When It Comes to His Acting in Dramas His syndicated television program, The Porter Wagoner Show, aired from 1960 to 1981. There were 686 30-minute episodes taped, the first 104, in black and white and the remainder in color. At its peak, his show was featured in over 100 markets, with an average viewership of over 3 million. He was elected to the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2002.In 2004 Wagoner made a guest appearance on the HBO comedy series Da Ali G Show, its second season, interviewed by Borat Sagdiev. Wagoner was honored on May 19, 2007, his 80th birthday, at the Grand Ole Opry for his 50 years of membership. It was telecast on GAC's Grand Ole Opry Live. On June 5, 2007, Wagoner released his final album, called Wagonmaster. That's all you have done. Your dedication is recognized and it will never fade away. Wagoner died from lung cancer in Nashville on October 28, 2007, with his family and Dolly Parton at his side.
Wagoner's funeral was held November 1, 2007, at the Grand Ole Opry House. He is buried at Woodlawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Nashville.